Hello everyone. This is lecture number 50. In today's lecture, we will learn we will learn about uh, uh, treatment of a sewage based on EASB process. So now, what are the treatment of a sewage based on EASB processor? Okay, or the process. So it's the particular term that is UASB. What exactly process? What are they working? What are the principle? What are the objective of EASB process? We will see in our today's lecture. So content of today's lecture. First, we will see what are the introduction of UASB. Then we will see what are the objectives of UASB. And then any USB process, why are the primary treatment process? Then USB reactor. Then we will see as the aeration, then polishing point in chlorination system and the byproducts and last one we will see as what are the conclusion of the EASB procedure okay so in USB in the introductory part we can see a U is nothing but as upflow S stand for the anaerobic S stand for the sludge so upflow anaerobic sludge that means anaerobic absence of oxygen and S is for S stand for the sludge then B is a blanket. Okay. These are the meaning of uh, UASB upflow and aerobic sludge blanket, which is called as UASB. So, in a generally, upflow and aerobic sludge blanket process, that is UASB, was developed by Latinga and he, his co worker in Holland. Actually, USB is developed or invested by the Latinga and his co worker in Holland in the early as 1970s. Okay, in early as 1970s, uh, the Latinga and his co worker is invented as a, this process system that is USB, nothing but as a flow and aerobic sludge blanket process. An aerobic glandular sludge bed technology refer to the special kind of reactor concept for the high rate anaerobic treatment of wastewater. Mostly anaerobic uh, USB in a system that is a glandular sludge bed technology refer to special kind of a uh, reactor concept for the high rate anaerobic treatment wastewater. So this system having some objectives. So you can see here. The major objective of the UASB process is so one by one we will see, you, you, you can see here pre sedimentation and aerobic wastewater treatment and the final sedimentation including sludge stabilization are essentially combined in a reactor making it most attractive high rate wastewater treatment option once again I'm reading here the what the first objective pre sedimentation and aerobic wastewater treatment and the final sedimentation including sludge stabilization are essentially combined so pre sedimentation and aerobic wastewater and the final sedimentation including sludge stabilization are essentially combined in one reactor okay and it making it most attractive high rate wastewater treatment options okay so this is the combined uh, reactor action with uh, pre sedimentation and the final sedimentation in the final sedimentation which is included as a sludge stabilizations this is a combined process and this is the most on high rate wastewater treatment option to produce by uh, the product like methane in rich biogas and nutrient rich in slur through this usb process we can be produced it can be produced or by product of like a methane gas and then by methane in rich and biogas and nutrient rich and a sludge okay these are the some objectives of USB upflow and aerobic bank blanket. So in a primary, in a primary treatment of the sewage in this USB process, first the inlet chamber will be received the raw sewage to pass a screen channel and subsequently to the deuterator tank. So in this particular system, primary treatment of that uh, sewage is that the inlet chamber will be received the raw sewage and it to pass the channel of subsequently in a distributed tank nothing but as a sedimentation tank then secondly in the primary uh, treatment process of this usb in screen channel floating matter are trapped and removed so 
it is a common process or generally a sewage treatment plant so clean chamber can be removed or trapped or uh, floating material then in retreater tank grid removed so in retreat tank grid is removed also so now the sewage have been retreated for screening and the grid is then passed to the usb reactor now you can see here in the step number four sewage having been treated for the C screening and grid is then passed to the USB reactor and this is a combined reactor pre sedimentation and the final sedimentation with including the sludge in USB process a USB reactor is placed where the separation of the gas liquid and solid take place the reduction of BOD is a 7 5%. So mostly in USB reactor is placed where the separation of the gas as well as liquid as well as solid take place. Then the reduction and due to that the reduction of BOD is a 75%. In this process the whole wastewater is passed through the anaerobic reactor in an off flow mode with HRT of high rate high retention time of 8.8 hours okay and particularly in this process what whole wastewater is passed through the anaerobic reactor in an off flow mode so you know that in off flow mode downward to the off flow mode with the hrt that means uh, uh, that means a high rate retention period a high retention time that is called as 8.8 hours for 8.8 hours the uh, water is passes through the in off flow directionally through the whole wastewater in this process. Then the, the off flow sewage itself form of the million of small granulars of sludge which are in suspension and the excess of sludge is removed and taken by the sludge pump houses. So mostly in particular in our flows uh, flowing of sewage itself form of the millions of uh, small granules of a sludge and which are is suspensionally in that particular water and due to that excess sludge is removed by taken of a sludge pump house. So in this process organic compound get anaerobically biodegraded. So organic compound get anaerobically biodegraded converting into the methane and enrich the biogas. This is actual uh, USB process. A flow anaerobic sludge blanket. So this uh, process having the first step and that is very, very important. <coughs> now the aeration, the flow of from USB reactor will be directly directed to the aerator lagoon to provide aeration and allow further settlement of suspended solid of the infusion from USB reactor. Once the flow from the USB reactor will be directly aerated lagoon and it's provide the aeration allow the further a settlement of suspended solid and the influence of the USB reactor. So this uh, aerator provides the oxygen that means inject the oxygen to decompose the along with the water providing huge surface. Okay, the resulting induction uh, induction of oxygen reduced the BOD load by the further seventy five percent. After a flow coming from the USB reactor and it's inject the oxygen and decompose the organic matter by providing a sur huge surface through which the 75% of beauty load by uh, beauty 75% of beauty reduce uh, beauty load by the reduce now detention period is required here to 24 hours in the aeration process so aeration is the word of to mix the oxygen now in the aeration you can see here this is a huge surface which are we providing here here at Lacun. and this sewage came from the USB reactor and then this uh, huge surface or use uh, unit which we provided artificially the oxygen in particular uh, water and after mixing the particular water they decompose the organic matter and it can be convert the methane gas into the bio, biofuel biogas so now in a polishing pond so what you mean by polishing pond you can see here polishing pond are used to improve the quality of infusant okay so polishing pond are the one of the unit used, used to improve the quality of infusion from the efficient usb reactor okay which which is from efficient usb reactor so that final infusion quality become compatible compatible with the desired standard so for maintaining a desired standard or a quality of the sewage for that polishing pond is the very important is the particular input to improve the 
quality of influence. It is mainly used to improve the hygienic quality. So mainly, uh, mainly work or mainly objective, main objective of the polishing pond is what? To improve the hygienic quality. Polishing pond are with baffle walls. So you know that a baffle walls is the palpation walls which were provided, increase the length of the flow with the detention time of 12 hours, where and remaining suspended solids are reduced the less than 50 mg per liter. So in a polishing pond, there are the baffle wall and that increase the length and had given the detention time near about two hours and where are remaining suspender solid are reduced less than the 50 mg per liter. So you can see a layout of USB treatment plant here, waste water uh, from the city. Then he's screening in it, which we had before and that's waste water go through the screening. The floating material can be removed from here. This is screening. The uh, through the sewage for the screening, it goes to the, in the grid chamber after settling some time, giving the HRT time, the remaining water will go into the splitter box uh, for further treatment, which is a splitter box. And here is a USB reactor which is provided combinedly pre-treatment and the final treatment with respect to the sludge. And in this case, they may chance to the create the biogas or the gas holder in the upward directional. So remaining sludge which goes to the here again, you can see here, sludge drying bed or sludge to the agriculture. So that means the uh, used from the USB reactor sludge, remaining sludge or dust sludge, which can be used for the agriculture purpose also, and remaining water, which we goes to here, that's the faculty lagoon or inflate of the lagoon. This is the general layouts of the USB treatment plant. So after that, uh, there will be the uh, to maintain the hygienic system that is for the required or chlorination system. So chlorination system has been the given in the system in the design to meet the fecal coliform standards. So to maintain the fecal coliform standards, it's a system is the design. It includes mainly of a three units and with that chlorine house, then chlorine mix tank and chlorine contact tank okay so the water which mix with the chlorine is free from the harmful bacteria so for what to free we require a free wind from the harmful bacteria so that's when we chlorine doses will be provided there therefore the influence is pumped into the nearby water bodies so after chlorination doses what will be the byproduct of the usb processor the biogas is the main product of byproduct of that usb process so floating types of gas holder will be provided in a concrete tank so just we see in a, this in this layout you can see here in this layout so this is a gas holder it's a byproduct from the usb which we are before in the concrete unit so uh, concrete tank Gas coming from the pipe consists of methane. When they from the USB, they will create a methane gas, and then it can methane gas, uh, carbon dioxide, and the hydrogen sulfur gas. These three gas which can be generated by product of the USB. Only methane is used to generate the electricity. Okay. On out of the three gas, only methane can be used to generate the electricity. Now, third by is sludge. Sludge product from the USB reactor will be digested sludge and the rich the nutrient which be beneficial for the plant growth. So sludge byproduct was so remaining by sludge product which can be digested sludge and the rich the nutrient which are beneficial for the plant growth. That means it can be used for the agriculture purpose so, as a fertilizer. So now what are the advantages of USB? You can see here USB advantages. The flowing uh, the following are the advantages of USB. Produce easily dewater able access sludge. Produce easily dewater able access sludge. Okay, this is the first advantage. Second, low energy consumption. In this particular USB can, uh, system, which is required the low energy consumption, then absence of noise in the order noises. Then full home technology, low initial investment and the maintenance cost. Methane-rich biogas production, that is the main aim of this uh, USB, that is methane-rich biogas production. And the production of enriched nutrient sludge, this is a, one of the advantage. Now, we will see here, overall, actually we had C here, we have a C here, 
or, or what is USB procedure, what the layout of USB procedure, what are the process included in the USB procedure, and what are the byproducts we just seen in this lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.